You quit doing that. No. Whatever it is. Chewing your nails. Uh, whose nails are they? Let's get in on my wick. Well, why don't you bog off to work then? Come on, Danny, you're gonna be late. So I just told him. Oh, I wish I won't go in. Well, don't then. You know, I've been to face charity. Oh, Mum, she doesn't have to find out I had a card. We've already been through this. It's best I'm straight with her. Well, suppose she don't want a tea leaf, Mum looking up there. Hey, I'm not a tea leaf. Might give Mum the sack. I know. And me. Well, of course she won't. Anyway, at least I'll be able to sleep better at night. That Letitia won't. Like I'm scared of that jumped up prosy. It's stupid, this. We've not even been able to walk to the bus together. Yeah, if we want people to think we're history, then we can't. I'll see the village all about half four. <laughs> can't wait. What are you two doing? Talking. About what? You're sounding like my dad. They're just wanted to borrow a couple of quid. Did you give it to him? No. You know, it seems a shame you two can't even be friends. Yeah, well, life goes on. You've not seen Paddy. Why, has he done a runner? He had a call early on, but he's due back. He's got a string of patients waiting for him. Patients? What? You mean like cats and dogs with coughs and walking sticks? And irate owners. The phone's not stopped ringing. I felt terrible leaving him there. Give me five minutes. What for? To smarten myself up. Why? I've got to give a good impression to Paddy's patients. I'll do reception. It's the least I can do. Oh, I, I don't know. Oh, don't worry. I'll be fine. You need a good woman, you do. I could get used to somewhere like this. Could you? What are you doing here, Mrs Dingle? Oh, now there's a question. But why are you here? It's a long story. Is there a short version? There is. In a nutshell, I'm homeless. But this will suit me very nicely. What's Charity got to? I'd give it a rest if I were you, Mum. Aren't you supposed to be working? There you are, Danny. Still in brew time. You've done nothing yet. Look at the state of your boots. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I've just cleaned this floor. OK, I'm on my way. So are you, Danny. Come on. Charity, can I have a word, please? No, I'm too busy. Who's in the state of the floor? Oh. They're quite cute, really. The vermin. Hiya, sorry, sorry. Emergency call first thing. Don't worry, Mr Kirk, everything's under control. What are you doing? There's no need for thanks. Who authorised it? Get him authorised. Now, your first client's already in the surgery, so you go through and I'll bring you a copy. And I think we all deserve one, don't you? Oh, only joking about the vermin thing. Oh, thanks for picking them up. How much do I owe you? Oh, I'll be daft. I should keep her going for a week at least. <laughs> oh, I think it's really sweet. A man with nappies. Vicar, we need a word. Yes, ladies. Betty and I think you've been derelict in your duties. I am a single parent. It's got nothing to do with that. It's you standing by while Eric Pollard gets his clutches on Gloria, isn't it, Betty? Aye, although I don't know why I'm bothered, cos we never even got an invite to a wedding. Gloria is past the age of consent. Well past it. Yeah, but that's just the problem, isn't it? She thinks that he's a last chance. It's an act of desperation. I don't really want to gossip about parishioners. This is not gossip. This is Christian concern. Betty knows Eric of old. He might not be everyone's choice. Bent as a nine bark melt. I don't honestly see what I can do. Talk sense into her. Make her reconsider. That's not really on, is it? She likes you. She does. There was a time when she had amorous intentions towards the vicar, remember? All dewy-eyed she used to get. I'll, I'll, have her, I'll have a chat with her. Make sure she's considered the pros and cons. Tell her she can write the prose on the back of a stamp, love. Oh, hello, Grandad. There's never a dingle about when you want one. Why would you want one? There you are, handsome! <laughs> what are we having for luncheon? Your mum was a bit touchy this morning. Yeah, big responsibility being a parent. Never. So, uh, what was up with her? Oh, family business. Sell the t shirt. She dropped herself in it. Mum's at her wit's end. Really, I should be at home making sure the t shirt do out daft. 
So, if I could have a bit of compassionate leave, I'd be a weight off my mum's shoulders. If you did half a day's graft, it'd be a weight off mine. The best way you can help your mum is by keeping your job. And you do that by excelling. So, when we finish this, you can disinfect every inch of the big greenhouse. It's massive, it's all glass. Well, that's why we call it the big greenhouse. I usually have a pint of pint for me. Yes, and look at the state of you. Uh, two BLTs without the bacon and a bottle of water with two glasses. Water? We make a great team, don't we? You and me. Uh, well, I, I, I do appreciate you helping me out this morning. Oh, like my new fella, Emily. He's brought me to lunch. Wolfpack will be sending out a search party. <laughs> yeah, wish they would. And we got through all those patients, didn't we, Paddy? I told you you needed someone. I mean, how can you expect to get by without a receptionist, especially with Zoe being away? You all have not had time to sort it out, have I? No need, is there? I'm your girl. We do have procedures, you know. Oh, procedures. Like discussing it with my partner, advertising, shortlist, interviews. You just said you've not got the time. And you've seen me in action, like a human dynamo I was. Unless you just don't like me, Paddy. Of course he does. Of course I do. So I've got it. Yeah, OK. Brilliant. Just on a temporary basis, though. Of course. I'm not the sort of girl who'll be content with just being a dog's body for long, am I? Oh, dog's body. <laughs> not very tactful, was it? <laughs> Where's my butchers? You told Lisa you didn't want them. I didn't. I said I, I didn't want to go to work like an insurance clerk with little triangular butchers in a plastic box. What's on them, anyway? Corned beef and brown sauce. Oh, right. give us one. No. Give us one? No. I'll tell Lisa. You chai ass little get. Come on, lads, we're late out. Did someone speak? No, we Phil. Judas, you mean? You expected me to lose my job to cover for you. I don't expect nothing from you. You're a traitor to your class, a company spy, a lackey, and a brown nose. It was Pollard who told Charity about your scam. Yeah, and you backed him up. Can't we sort this out man to man? What? I have a fight? No. Grief. Talk about it. Said all I'm going to say. Over a pint. After work, I'll pay. Well, go on. No one can say I'm not reasonable. They are. They are. Sorry. Um, can, can you just have a pint, please? Are you all right? No, not really. I, I've had a limp lettuce for lunch and I've been bounced into taking on Nicola as a receptionist. Brave man. Thank you very much. I'm, well, at least she's well qualified. Most of the receptionists we get didn't seem to be playing with the full deck, did they? The, 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 the jutted Kelly, Gloria. Oh, at least things seem to be working out for Gloria now. Marrying AP? I just hope he doesn't muck it about this time. I'll tell you what would be good. If you could have a word with him. Me? You're one of the few people who knows what a state she was in last year. Yeah, she was suicidal, but Eric knows that because he flipping caused it. So it'd be no bad thing if you could remind him of his responsibilities towards her, would it? Is that not your territory? Eric would just write me off as a do-gooding parson, wouldn't he? Go on, then. Good man. Charity. A cup of tea and a jammy dodger. Uh, can I have a word, please? Well, I I've got to get this done before Chris gets back. Yeah, it's important. Yes, yeah, so is this. Anyway, have you done kitchen floor? You've lost your credit card, haven't you? What are you on about? So you've not missed it, then? No, why? It is in here somewhere. Before I tell you who had it, uh, can I ask you a favour? Don't mess me about, Synth. Where's my card? Oh, Letitia took it. Don't tell me she used it. I'm really, really sorry. Oh, she will be. Yeah, right. Thanks. Well, if you could just stop my card. Cheers. Thanks. For what? For not saying it was stolen. Oh, well, that's a matter for the police, isn't it? You didn't even know it were missing. No, cos I'd not had a statement. It's not just a few hundred quid we're talking, it's nearly two grand's worth. 
She, she didn't know what she was doing. I mean, it was spur of the moment. You dropped your bag spur and she... Spur of the moment? I doubt it. I mean, she used it, and not only once. It's like a dipping into my wallet whenever it takes a fancy, and the fact that it's plastic don't make any difference. And then she sends you up here groveling. She didn't send me. No. Spineless little cow, hope no one had noticed. And the fact that you're sticking up for her makes me wonder if I should just give you your cards. I'm trying to make it right. I mean, she wasn't thinking, and she would put up to it. Oh, don't come making excuses. I'm not some wet behind the ear probation officer. By your cane? Oh, how very convenient. Oh. He's hardly here to deny it, is he? He's got it. That's why I've not brought it. Well, fat lot of good it'll do him now. I've stopped it anyway. Oh, hang on a minute. You think I won't go to the coppers because it'd mean shopping cane? I don't know. Yeah, well, you'd be half right anyway. He might have broken dingle rule number one. You never nick from your own family, but I'm not about to break rule number two. Never grass up another dingle. But your girl... She's not another dingle, is she? Oh, that's not fair. Well, Robin Mee's the unfair bit. No, Charity. She's got baby. I mean, sack me if you want, but please give her a chance. I mean, for second baby. What do you think? Marvellous. Gloria's idea. Once I'm confirmed as mayor on Friday, there'll be one of these popping through every little letterbox, including yours. Oh, fantastic. She did suggest darkening the moustache. <laughs> Wonders of technology, eh? <laughs> I think you'd look a bit like Hitler. No, I wouldn't. Look, I've got things to organise, marital arrangements to make and so on, so what do you want? Uh, it's rather delicate, actually. I haven't got time to listen to your personal woes. No, no, it's, it's not about me, it's about you. You and Gloria. Are, are you absolutely dead set on marrying her? I beg your pardon? Are you going ahead with the wedding? No. I'm going to shatter her hopes and dreams to say nothing of my political reputation by standing her up at the altar. Of course I'm going to marry the dear girl. You've invited you, haven't I? Yeah. Uh, it's it just... You want to be... Are you certain it's the right thing? Are you suggesting I'm not? You want to be sure, don't you? Both of you. I, 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 none of us... Nobody wants to see you hurt again, do they, Eric? You come in here, stinking of cow dung. <laughs> you, who was kicked into touch by an outsized dingle, then takes in one of their rejects. Flipping heck. I need to get personal. Personal? How much more personal can you get by questioning my motives regarding dear, sweet Gloria Weaver? The woman I love more than anyone or anything. No last minute doubts then. Huh. Hiya. You weren't calling for me. I love you too. Sorry, I'm just gonna go get something for my dad. Oh, I'll come with you. Well, you can't come. What is up with you? We well, just can't. Why? You're up to something. Go and tell me what it is. But if you must know, I'm meeting Andy. What do you mean, meeting? You're still going out with him. We never finished. Well, why didn't you tell me? Why do you think? I'm hardly likely to blab to your dad, am I? What? We told Robert when I said I might be pregnant. I didn't mean to. Yeah, well... Stuff you, then. You and me are supposed to be mates. We are. Oh, Luce! Well, you're not going to tell anyone, are you? Looking forward to your big day? Yes, I am, rather. Thank you. Exciting, isn't it, Ashley? <laughs> Very. You don't believe my marrying Eric is anything to get excited about, do you? It's your choice. Yes. And isn't it part of your role to bestow the church's blessing? I want nothing more than your future happiness. Thank you. But to be frank, as a friend, I wonder if Eric is the man to offer you that. That is frank. I'm sorry. It seems so rushed. Eric and I simply want to build a future together. We've both been around the block, as they say. And long engagements and elaborate ceremonies certainly don't guarantee a successful marriage. I know. Yes, and so you should. When I counselled caution about you marrying Benice, did you listen? No. And look where it got me. I must 
be like this when people have affairs. You know, meeting secretly and that. I think it's exciting. Romantic. I'd never do that. Two time you. I know. Sarah did it to my dad. It wrecked everything. Yeah, Mama did the same. Has Robert said anything? What about? Well, I don't know. I tried it on. No. Well, it wouldn't be the first time. And now he thinks that we split up. Yeah, well, I'd tell him to get lost. Would you? Of course. I just wish everyone could know we were together. They will do. Someone already knows. Lucy. Well, what is she going to tell everyone? Well, she promised not to. <sighs> but I'll go and see her and make sure, because I was a bit mean to her earlier. Well, you're not going yet, though, are you? Why? Can you think of anything better to do? Let me think. Um. No. Yeah, well, I have. Got some. Don't like pizza. Since when? You might as well have it while you can, because you can't send out for it, Nick. Not funny, Danny. Sorry. So what do you think Charity will do? Couldn't care less. She does, really. Do you want to know what I'd do? No. I'd either leave the country... Yeah, you better before I batter you. I'd have said Kane made you do it. Yeah, and she'd believe you. Everyone knows what Kane's like. You don't know nothing about him. Do I? Did you tell Charity that Alatisha's robbed her? Did you then? I tried to explain. Oh, great. What time the Rosas coming? They're not. Not yet, anyway. Well, that's summer. But Charity is later on. Oh, I'm bricking it. Cheers. Lads, how many drinks is it going to take to get us back to normal? Yeah, well, we'll see. Depends whose side you're on. I'm just trying to scratch a living and look after my family. That's what we're trying to do, isn't it, Dad? Ah, it is. Oh, hey, up. Oh, it's Councillor Pillock. I beg your pardon? Ignore him, Eric. Don't lower yourself. I'll lower him. He'll be horizontal. I will not sanction agents of the council scavenging in municipal refuse. Well said, Eric. Oh, well said, Eric. Talk about singing off the same song sheet. Pearl Carr and Teddy Johnson had an ouch on you, pair. <laughs> Ah, huh? oh, there you are. I've been looking for you all day. Uh, if this is about the mess outside the B&B, it's no to do with me. Phil here dropped some bin bags and he couldn't be mad at picking them up. But, but it's nothing to do with that. It, it's, it's about her, your mother. Oh, that type of bag. I heard that. Well, would you like to get some drinks here? Oh, yes. You make a lovely couple. You and I need to talk. Anyone would then come like Donna's mum for spreading gossip. Well, of course not. Well, you haven't told her, have you? Katie! Yeah, well, it's really tough right now. I mean, I don't know what my dad would do if he found out about me and Andy. Well, he's not going to find out from me. He can keep it a secret forever, you know. We won't need to. Well, from what I've seen, I don't think your dad's going to come round. <sighs> well, he's going to have to. Sure. Can you really keep a secret? I mean, really. Well, don't tell me if you don't think so. I'm gonna get pregnant. For real. I mean, Andy and me, we've, we've thought about it. And if we have a baby, then they can't split us up, can they? That's the craziest, no, most stupid thing I've ever heard. Leah. I hope you're not giving my granddad any trouble. Watch your lip. Yes, Trisha, that's nowhere to talk to your future step granny. What? I've always liked you. <laughs> well, you, you must have been leading her on. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Do you like me, Nana, Mr. Turney? Mind what you share now, Alan? Well, it's not that I don't like her. No, I knew that you were keen. I just don't want her living with me. I want her removed. That's easier said than done. <laughs> Told Paddy Kurt to keep his nose out. Bloody cheek of the moon. Good for you. Ashley was being his usual self righteous self. They mess up their own lives and resent others having any happiness. Absolutely. Small minded village mentality. You saved me from it all, Gloria. No. Oh. No, it's true. You raised my sights, broadened my horizons. 
Mayor next, then the Palace of Westminster. <laughs> Palace of Westminster? Is it possible? Just let anyone try and stop us. Frightening prospect. Yeah, frightening. <laughs> Could you put those down, please? It's not frightening, Eric. Not if you've got any backbone. Of course not. I'm a man of steel. No, never! You can't send me back to that house of hell. You should be with your family. You, you can take an oars to water, but don't, don't you like living with us, Nanny? I hate the lot of you. No, oh, fair news. <laughs> but, but there aren't any vacancies at the B&B. Since when? You were moaning that you just got Rodney in. Thank you very much, Diane. What's up? She's a poor old lady who just wants somewhere to live. Thanks, pet. You put it very nicely. Well, well perhaps just temporarily. <laughs> you are a gentleman of the first water. <laughs> right, you, you shut your trap till I've finished, all right? Uh, do you want a cup of tea, Mrs Tate? What are you uh, calling her, Mrs Tate, for? I said, shut it. Hey, you can't speak to me like that. Tell her, Mum. Just listen. Look, will you just leave us to it? Um, you and all. Yeah, come on. You're gonna be all right, sis. I wouldn't have been. I think I'll go and up. Uh, hey! Who do you think you are? I've come here as a favour, right? I've put myself out. Not for you, though. For your mum and your son. So, pay back all what you've spent and I'll say no more. No police, end of story. 1,700 quid. Like I've got it? Anyway, I can spent some of it. Well, he's not here, though, is he? No, he's not. And you wouldn't be throwing your weight around if he was. Oh, look, just pay it back or I'll get you lifted. Sure. Get myself a sugar daddy like you, eh? You want to be careful what you say. Well, I haven't got it, have I? Do I look like I've got it? Right, so I'll give you time. Oh, it ain't fair that Cain gets away with it. Oh, look, I'll tell you something about Cain, right? Wherever he is, he won't be sleeping. <laughs> oh, no. Because he knows that what he did was worse than what you did. Because we don't steal from each other. Never. Like he's frightened of you. Well, he should be. And so should you. So, are you going to pay it back? All of it? Last chance. I can't hear you. Yes. Yes, Mrs Tate. Yes, Mrs Tate. Hmm.